Hello, this is David Diga Hernandez, and you're watching Spirit Church on the Encounter TV Network. All of us face seasons of loneliness, seasons where we feel distant from God, from other people. You may be in a season right now where you feel like nobody understands what you're facing. Well, I want to talk to you about the Holy Spirit, who is your faithful friend. And once you become aware of this friendship, then you will never again know that sense of loneliness. Never again will you feel that distance where you will be aware of the person of the Holy Spirit. But first, Stephen Moctezuma is here with me. He's going to lead you in some very anointed worship. And then we're getting right into that message. Here is Stephen Moctezuma. Here I lay my burdens down Lose my worries in your love Casting every care on you I have carried them enough We're not alone here within His love. Emmanuel, He is still with us. We're not alone here within His love. Emmanuel, He is still with us. He is with us now. Mercy is falling, falling Lift up your hands, receive it now Here in the presence of the Lord Mercy is falling, falling Lift up your hands, receive it now Here in the presence of the Lord Perhaps you're in a season right now where nothing makes sense. Perhaps you feel distant from God and from people, and you feel like nobody understands what you're going through. Maybe you're going through a divorce, and you're being judged harshly by your Christian brothers and sisters. Maybe you're in a ministry right now, and you're not seeing the fruit that you want to see. Whether it be strain in a relationship, or weight in your emotions, or what you perceive as failure in something that you want to succeed in, all of us face seasons where we feel alone, misunderstood, like we're outcasts, not accepted, like we don't quite fit anywhere. Well, the good news is this. I know someone that loves you, that is faithful to you, that will never betray you, that you can always trust. That is the Holy Spirit, the most faithful of any friend that you will ever have. He understands you. He sees what you're going through right now. He senses what you're going through right now, as a matter of fact. Now, you may feel that cynicism. You may feel that doubt. You may feel that coldness coming over your heart or that questioning in your mind. And you're wondering, when is this season going to end? When are you going to finally come into a place where you're no longer troubled by that sense, that overwhelming sense of loneliness, that weight of heaviness that comes on you? Well, I want to show you a portion of Scripture, which is one of my favorites, and it's found in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse number 10. The Scripture says, But it was to us that God revealed these things by His Spirit. 
for his spirit searches out everything and shows us God's deep secrets. No one can know a person's thoughts except that person's own spirit, and no one can know God's thoughts except God's own spirit. And we have received God's spirit, not the world's spirit, so we can know the wonderful things God has freely given to us. In other words, the Holy Spirit searches out the depths of God and reveals them to your spirit. That's deep calling unto deep, that unending, unbreakable fellowship that takes place 24-7, whether you're aware of it or not. You are understood by the Holy Ghost. You may feel, I don't fit in here, I don't fit in there, I haven't, maybe you're a minister and you haven't quite found your stream, you haven't quite found your, forgive me for using the word, but your tribe, I don't believe in division, but there are those that we really find that can really connect with us in ways that other people can't, and maybe you haven't found that. Maybe you're wondering where you fit into God's big plan. Maybe your family is in discord, division. Maybe something happened at your church. Maybe something happened between you and a leader, you and a friend, you and a parent, you and a sibling. Relationships can become strained. People can betray us. But the Holy Spirit will never forsake us. The Holy Spirit will never leave us. I'm going to show it to you from Scripture in John chapter 14. Look at verse number 16. This is Jesus talking about the Holy Spirit. And I will ask the Father, and He will give you another advocate, who will never leave you. He is the Holy Spirit who leads into all truth. The world cannot receive Him because it isn't looking for Him and doesn't recognize Him. But you know Him because He lives with you now and later will be in you. Verse 18, No, I will not abandon you as orphans. I will come to you. The Holy Spirit abides with you. You never again have to sense the weight of loneliness. You never again have to question if anybody cares about you. You never again have to wonder if anybody truly understands you because the Holy Spirit cares about you. The Holy Spirit is with you and the Holy Spirit understands you. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 15, the Bible says, Don't you realize that your bodies are actually parts of Christ? Should a man take his body, which is part of Christ, and join it to a prostitute? Never. He's talking about sexual immorality. But then in verse 16, he goes on to say, And don't you realize that if a man joins himself to a prostitute, he becomes one body with her? For the scripture says the two are united in one. But the person who is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. One spirit with him. This means I already have that perfect union with Christ. I'm already connected to the Holy Spirit. He's already that faithful friend who abides in me. And I can experience that friendship. I can enjoy that companionship wherever I go, whatever I do, 24-7. Whether you're driving to work or you're preparing a message for Sunday morning or you're at a family gathering where you feel disconnected because people are cold toward you. It doesn't matter who you're with. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You can involve the Holy Spirit right there where you are. And you do not have to know that sense of loneliness. Somebody needs to hear this. So I want to say this very clearly to you. I know this season has been rough. And I know you feel like nobody understands. I know you feel like nobody cares. But let me be very clear with you. You are not alone. You're never alone. You're never abandoned. The Holy Spirit is with you even now. He's in the room with you right now. He is looking at you right now. He is listening to you right now. He's real. He's present. He's close. He's tangible. Just become aware of that presence. Now, you may feel that the Holy Spirit might abandon you in times where you make a mistake, or maybe you are repeating a sinful error again and again and again. And you're becoming frustrated, not just with yourself, but with the whole situation. And you imagine that the Holy Spirit is also becoming frustrated with you. And perhaps you wonder, is the Holy Spirit going to leave me? Have I finally made that last mistake that makes him say, that's it, I'm done with you, I've given you enough chances? I want to remind you of this. Think of all that Jesus taught concerning patience and forgiveness. 
and then realize that God keeps to His own standards of mercy. If Jesus told us to give, forgive on multiple occasions, then don't you think He Himself would forgive us on multiple occasions? This by no means is an encouragement to abuse the grace of God because a true believer will walk in true repentance with a true desire for holiness. What I am saying is that that faithful friend of yours, even when you aren't faithful to him, even when you make that mistake, even when you come to that place where you become frustrated with yourself, he doesn't leave you. It would make no sense for God to remove your power unto holiness just because you lack holiness. It doesn't make any sense. Instead, the Holy Spirit doesn't abandon us when we make mistakes. He leans into us, He remains with us, and He rescues us from ourselves. Galatians chapter 5, verse 16 says, So I say, let the Holy Spirit guide your lives. Then you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. The sinful nature wants to do evil, which is just the opposite of what the Spirit wants. And the Spirit gives us desires that are opposite of what the sinful nature desires. These two forces are constantly fighting each other, so you are not free to carry out your good intentions. But when you are directed by the Spirit, you are not under obligation to the law of Moses. In other words, the Holy Spirit is right there with you, fighting that fight, not just for your sanity, not just for your peace, not just for your joy, not just so that you can cry out, Abba, Father, for that's what He does also. He, he convinces us of our sonship. He convinces us that we're children of God, even when we don't feel like we are. And, and He causes us to be encouraged, and He stays in the fight with us. This is what He does. When you become frustrated with that sinful nature, the Holy Spirit doesn't abandon you and say, you messed up one too many times. Instead, He draws near to you and says, I'm right here with you to fight that. I'm right here with you to help you walk back in holiness. You may feel lonely right now, because you've made mistakes and you feel like God has abandoned you and you've crossed the line. Let me tell you something that's a lie from the enemy and God sent me here right now to tell you to rebuke that lie, to get back up because the Holy Spirit has not abandoned you and He's remaining with you as a faithful friend to fight this battle with you. 1 John chapter 1, verse 9 tells us that if we confess our sins to Him, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. Think about what the Scripture says there. He's faithful in that he does it consistently, and he's just in that he does it righteously. God has already paid the price for your sins, so he's justified in forgiving you, and he's loving and he's patient and he's merciful, and therefore he is faithful to forgive you again and again and again. Now let me emphasize, this again is by no means an encouragement to abuse the grace of God. I'm simply letting you know that the Holy Spirit is the truest of friends. The Holy Spirit is faithful you may feel like you've gone too far. You may feel like nobody cares anymore. You might be in one of the loneliest seasons of your life yet, but I encourage you to know this. The Holy Spirit has not abandoned you. I know how we get. Sometimes we face things that are so dark, so depressing, so discouraging, that we, we allow that to get into us. I've been there in seasons like that where where, where cynicism, where, where anger, where, where doubt, where worry and fear, all of it begins to grip your heart and you become entangled in yourself. You become entangled in your own confusion. You become entangled in the lies of the enemy and you begin to distance yourself from people not knowing who you can trust, not wanting to trust them. Your heart grows cold. Your head becomes suspicious but that's when the Holy Spirit shows up. It's in those difficult places, and I'm talking about real difficulty. I'm not talking about high school drama. They offended me, they looked at me wrong. Some of us just need to grow up, but I'm talking about real life issues, true darkness that comes against us, true trials that begin to cause us to waver and doubt. If we will just stay focused, if we will just stay connected to the Lord, then we will recognize that we have a faithful friend that fellowship is unbreakable. That fellowship is unending. The Holy Spirit is with you. Stay in the fight. Stay encouraged. Get back up again. Get back to your pulpit again. Get back into your ministry again. Pick up that guitar again. Pick up that microphone again. Get back to doing 
what God has called you to do. Be who God has called you to be. You have the choice. This, this is one of the greatest gifts that God has ever given to humanity, is the ability to choose who we will become. We choose who we become by choosing our thoughts. And our thoughts become our inclinations. And our inclinations become a part of our nature. And our nature dictates where we go in life. I'm telling you this. If you will turn your thoughts back to the Word of God, if you will turn your thoughts back to the reality of the truth that the Holy Spirit is with you, and you come into connection with that friend who never abandons you, never leaves you, never forsakes you, never runs out of patience for you, then you can get back up you can get back in this thing. This is not just some message I want to give to you to give you some superficial encouragement. This is supernatural empowerment. I'm talking about a person who wants to come alongside you and walk with you in this. Remember, He is faithful even when we are not. He's not going to leave you on the side. He's not going to leave you to face this thing alone. You are not alone. The Holy Spirit is with you a faithful and true friend. I want to pray with you now. I want to pray that you would begin to sense the presence of the Holy Spirit. Some of you, it's been months, possibly years, since you've sensed the presence of the Holy Spirit come near to you. I want to pray right now that His very presence would be made known in your heart. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift that one now receiving this prayer. And I ask you, Father, in the name of Jesus, to allow the presence and power of the Holy Spirit to be sensed. Strengthen them, Lord. Holy Spirit, tap them on the shoulder and remind them that you're with them. We thank you that you're with us. Again, we offer this prayer in the name of Jesus. And I want you to say it because you believe it with all your heart. Say, Amen. Well, that is it for the lesson. I want to welcome now the new members of Spirit Church. There you are up on the screen. We love you. We are praying for you. I always say that because I always mean it. If you'd like information on how you can join the Spirit family, go to davidhernandezministries.com slash spiritchurch. When you sign up, it's absolutely free. You'll get an email from me every single week with a brand new teaching and a worship cover from Stephen Moctezuma. The best part, you can reply to that email for prayer support from our ministry staff. So join the Spirit family today, now over 10,000 members strong from nations all around the world. Now to your comments. These comments are from last week's teaching, The Final Harvest, Revival in the Last Days. And if you'd like me to potentially read your comments next week, then go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section right now. And if you're watching on YouTube while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe and be sure to click that notification bell so that you can receive all the notifications of the content coming out from our YouTube channel. But I'm sure if you're watching on other platforms, there are other ways to connect. So go ahead, connect with us in any way possible. Now these, again, are coming from the Final Harvest Revival in the Last Days. Oluchi Ozone writes, This message has given me so much confidence in the Word of God. It is what we really need to hear right now because the spirit of fear is gripping believers all over the world. Thanks for the message. Sunita James writes, Praise the Lord Almighty, wonderful song and message. God bless you, Pastor, for building up the kingdom of God. Lauren Jones writes, I have been blessed by your messages and in turn desire to live my life by being a blessing. Thank you for being an obedient and faithful servant of the Lord. God bless. Sarah Warrenberg writes, I'm still standing with you. Brothers and sisters in Christ, God is amazing. And let us keep fighting for the word in Jesus' name. Much love and praise the Lord. Well, I totally agree. We are in this together. This is not something that any one person can do on their own. Everybody offers what they can. And this is where I want to talk to you. Don't turn off the video. I want to talk to you. It's not by accident you're watching this. And it's not by accident you were even drawn to this in the first place. I believe God has connected us. Here's the reality. What we're doing as a ministry costs money. I don't want to charge for this media. Jesus said, freely you receive, now freely give. We're not charging for this content. I don't want to charge for our events. I'm, I'm, I'm not that big of a believer in charging entry fees to come in and hear the Word of God. That's just not how it works. The way it works is you sow the Word of God freely, and then God touches the hearts of the people to support the work. 
So the biblical way to do this is through free will offerings. It's how Paul the Apostle did it. Paul the Apostle took offerings in the church. Jesus talked about money. If you disagree with this, it's because you need to go back and read the scripture. This is biblical. And so I want to talk to those of you who have a heart for the gospel. Those who have a heart for the gospel never have any issue with an offering being taken because they recognize that it's going towards something. So let me just be real with you. God is in charge. He's the one who directed us to do what we're doing, and He's been faithful to supply. But God supplies through people. God supplies for the gospel through His church. In other words, in order to keep this video on the air or keep this video being produced, these videos coming out, in order to keep our events going, God needs to speak to you. Now, I've given my life to this thing. I'm not asking you to give your life to this thing. You give your life to whatever God tells you to give your life to. But I'm asking my brothers and sisters to join hands with me. Together we can do more together than we could ever do apart. This is a collective effort from thousands of believers all around the world joining together to see the gospel go forward, the word of God go forward in power. We want to see the gospel preached in the power of the Holy Spirit. So I'm asking you, become my partner today. Sign up to support this ministry for $30 or more a month. When you sign up to support this ministry, listen, you're helping to keep the content coming. You're helping to keep the events going. We don't charge for any of this. So it's up to you, the viewer. It's up to you, the event attendee, to keep this going by obeying the voice of the Holy Spirit and doing what He tells you to do. So sign up to become a partner for $30 or more a month, and I will send you either Carriers of the Glory, Encountering the Holy Spirit in Every Book of the Bible, or 25 Truths About Demons and Spiritual Warfare. I will sign that book, send it to you as my initiation gift, just to say thank you for signing up to be my partner. If you also want to do a one-time gift, that's absolutely helpful as well. So one-time gift or monthly partnership, go to davidhernandezministries.com slash donate. Many options for giving there. You can give from all around the world. We have PayPal. You can give by debit card, by credit card, by bank account. You can donate stock. You can donate cryptocurrency. You can even give by Apple Pay now all by going to davidhernandezministries.com slash donate. Do that today. Help support the work of God. Uh, this video is being released toward the end of 2019. So as we approach the end of the year, I'm asking many of you to consider investing your year-end giving into this ministry from either your personal finances or your business finances. Do that. Help us to continue to spread the gospel all around the world in the power of the Holy Spirit. Well, that is it for this edition of Spirit Church here on the Encounter TV Network. Until next time, remember, nothing is impossible with God. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.